I'm Charles Ludlow. In a previous video, I explored the Windows 11 setup menu now that has been changed out. So in this video, I thought it might be kind of fun to experiment with both and see if one is faster over the other. So to get started, we're going to create two uh, Windows 11 VMs here. And I will be using the uh, Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC ISO based off of Windows 11 uh, 24H2. Okay, all that's fine. We'll select that ISO file. And uh, we'll just go ahead and create that second VM now. And again, I'll give it 8 gig LAN. That's fine. And attach it to that ISO file. Okay, now we're going to make a couple of changes on both to keep it fair. We're going to enable TPM. They're each going to receive two virtual processors. No time sync, but we'll enable guest services. No automatic checkpoints. And we'll go to that one and do the same thing. Two virtual processors. No time sync, but we can have guest services. Use automatic checkpoints and do not automatically start. Now this first test is going to be a little hard to perfect, but for our first test, we're just going to try here the best I can to start both VMs at the same time. Actually, you know what? Probably is going to be easier. I haven't really figured out my setup here. Let's uh, get rid of this and kind of just collapse down here. That should be enough space. Perfect. Start them both up and press the key as soon as we see it. Uh, that's not going to be a fair test. That's not going to be a fair test because it didn't start them both at the same time. And besides, that portion is going to be the same. So that's not really even worth testing. I don't even know why I did that. I, uh, for a second there, I think I was thinking more we were going to test Windows 10 versus Windows 11. So what we're going to do is we're going to advance this as far as I can, hopefully without accidentally tripping the start of setup. There's the previous version of Windows setup. We'll accept the license agreement. And I believe we can hit next without starting the Windows setup. Yep, okay. Whereas on this one, as soon as we select the disk, all right, I'm gonna try to click these about the same time. Probably gave our friend here a one or two second disadvantage, but I'm just genuinely curious. Now, this new installer definitely, I think, is more flashy. I think it, I think it is like, oh, hey, look at me. I'm so much further along. But you can see our friend here catches up pretty quick here. Um, this test is on a relatively fast processor, um, but it's it is running on NVMe storage, so. We'll, we'll see. I'm I'm very curious. This obviously isn't a scientifically perfect test, um, you know. But but it's just it's just to give us a general idea. I'm thinking one might come out just a little bit ahead of the other. It's very interesting to watch this go down. Um, I would love to test this on identical hardware. That might be a fun video. Um, I'd have to get myself a second capture card. Hmm, that might be a future video. I might test this on identical hardware because I've got a bunch of those uh, Dell Optiplexes I can make use of for a test like this. And you can see, so far, it seems like the old installer is actually faster. And the, set, the, the funny thing about this is this had a head start over this installer. That's what's so crazy about it. The new installer actually had a head start over the old one. Oh, but interesting. Wow, this is so interesting. I I know for some of you, you may not find this fascinating. Um, but I I genuinely find this fascinating to watch watch Microsoft try to develop this stuff and see what works and what doesn't. OK. 
Okay. Now I'm not going to help it out. I I could help it out, giving it a 10 second advantage, but I'm going to let it. I'm I'm going to let it, you know, do its thing. Just as if it was an unintended install. And as you can see, we're already booting up to the Hyper-V screen here, which uh, would normally display your uh, motherboard's BIOS. We're starting services. Now this is interesting. You remain at this kind of boot screen for this uh, second phase of the Windows installer. Um, now our first VM is rebooting. And you'll see what's interesting about uh, our first VM is for the second phase of the Windows installer, it's actually going to take us to what looks very similar to a Windows update screen. Um, here, I don't mean for this to be covered. Do that. You'll see now we've got the installing 0%, almost like it's installing a Windows update. This is something I noticed. I, I don't know. I guess I've never really paid much attention. Windows installs have gotten fast. You know, like we are running two Windows installs side by side. And I mean, we're only three and a half minutes in. This is incredible. I mean, goodness, back in the day, setting up server 2008 and stuff, I remember it taking an hour or two to get through Windows installs. Now, some of that is also due to the fact that we have solid state drives, SATA first, then we got some SAS SSDs exist, but then we got into NVMe SSDs on the consumer side and on the enterprise side, and boy, those things fly. This is really interesting. I think our, our VM, which had, by the way, had at least an 11 or 12 second disadvantage over the over the first one got done with the windows installation first because this is the just a moment screen we're about to get the the windows 11 logo unless the first one can catch up can it catch up nope it cannot and our first vm as soon as we get that uh that that flag there perfect our first vm has successfully completed setup our second VM has successfully completed setup at 4 minutes and 24 seconds. Absolutely incredible. And our, uh, our other one's still going there. We'll pause it as soon as it gets to the little flag kite thing here. Going on 5 minutes. And there it is, folks. Identical VMs. You can see each has two cores and eight gig of RAM. But uh, but it's still completed. Uh, this one's still completed at first. Again, not a perfect scientific thing, to be honest. You'd be want it. You'd want to run them each bare metal on identical hardware to get a true true test there. But there you go. At least first impression of the installer, the new one's slower. How very interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.